All right, my third prediction is you're gonna get one of these tough linear equations. I say that they're tough because the y-intercept isn't obvious until you work through it. It's really the setup that's tough, but once you know how to set it up, then it's smooth sailing. We have tickets sell for $47 each for the first 25 people. After the first 25 people, any remaining tickets sell for $65 each. What is the equation that models this given n is the number of people and n is greater than or equal to 25. Okay, first things first, I notice a lot of students really focus on this. That's just kind of a disclaimer. You can ignore those things. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to figure out, you know, with a, a line, what's our slope and what's our y-intercept. Now, when they charge 47 for the first 25 people, that's going to be like a straight, you know, dollar amount because we are having more than 25 people show up. So no matter what, we're going to get this amount of money. So we're going to do 47 times 25. That'll give us the amount we get from the first 25. Now we're going to add on to that the next amount of people, they get charged $65 each. So I'm gonna put 65 on the outside and I'm gonna do N minus 25. That's the key because we already have the first 25 people counted for here. So from the total people, we have to take away the first 25. If you don't take away the first 25 people, what happens is it double counts. You charge them $47 up front and then you charge them another 65. You don't want that. Work through the question and then you'll end up getting your answer. So I can already tell without having a calculator, it's gonna be a negative y-intercept because I know 47 times 25 is gonna be less, that's a positive number, than 65 times negative 25 because 65 is more than 47. So I can actually use some logical reasoning on this without going right to the calculator there's only one negative y-intercept, I'm gonna go with x.